Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. I'm out at fire station number one. one. I wish you would have held up your finger, Adam Dorn. This one. is Adam Dorn <laughs> from Fitchburg Fire Department. Adam, how you been? Great. Yourself? Great. I am just busy guy. Always busy. Yep. Always stuff going on. Yep. And I love getting out of the office and coming down or over, however you want right. to say it, over to the station here. You guys busy got a lot nice. going on. They're hose testing in the back here. You can hear that going on yep. right now, which is pretty cool to see. We got to do something with that sometime. We, we should. You we owe should. me that. Okay. You owe me that. All right. Today, what we're focusing on. It's actually going to be a very busy segment today. Uh, you guys had a lot of stuff happen in the past month. Yep. Uh, we get over with the uh, the opening of fire station number two. And then right away, we came up to fire safety or fire prevention safety week, however you want to say yep. it. It happened. And the open house happened. And you recruited. I you did. You recruited <laughs> uh, Tim. Tim. Firefighter yes. Tim. Yep. He uh, He's here. He's going to join me in just a second. Uh, and, and a little bit later, Mr. Dorn is going to give us some uh, fire safety tips as we're getting into the holiday cooking season. But first, we do want to take a look at the open house. All right, Tim. Yes. The open house. Very successful. A little bit chilly. It was. A little rainy. Um, but uh, overall, a success? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Tell us a little bit about some of the activities that you had. Well, this year we were really focusing on a hands-on activity and really engaging everyone so that people could really understand what we, were, we do at the firehouse and really kind of feel the passion that all the firefighters have for what they do. So we put together a bunch of uh, situations such as a forcible entry prop that we, we acquired last year and showed everyone how we use it and how we train so they understand exactly what we do and some of the aspects of what we do. Uh, we also had a room full of all of our equipment that everyone was able to get their hands on and, and really see you know, what sort of stuff we do work with and, and all the neat stuff we have. There is a lot of neat stuff here, I'll, I'll say that. And I'm very passionate, I love this stuff. I should. A staple of this open house has always been the fire truck rides. Talk a little bit about uh, that. Yeah, well, every year we do have fire truck rides, and they're very popular for the, uh, the young children and the very old young children. Uh, I, I was uh, looking at a grandfather taking his grandson, who was probably three, and I wasn't sure who was more excited to get on the fire truck and ride around, the grandfather or the grandson. Absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's the best part of, I think, the open house. But, and, uh, and the displays this year, there were quite a bit more, um, I saw a lot more displays uh, than usual and more uh, special guests here as well. Yes, the, the vendors we invited were all very specific towards uh, health and safety. And uh, we really are trying to help educate everyone when they come in. So it's not just, you know, fun, come ride the fire engine. We want everyone to walk away with a better understanding of what we do and also, you know, hopefully go home safer. Absolutely. And uh, kind of recapping in your mind for the whole year and, and looking at uh, people coming out to the, the event, what would you say, if, you know, besides the station opening up, uh, your big message this year? Get, get to know us. We're going to really be reaching out into the, uh, the community this year. And this is who we are and this is what we do. And, uh, you know, lear learn about us and be safe. Okay, so Tim is... Uh, He's a good guy. He is. He's a really good guy. And they it was a successful open house. You guys do a great job every year with it. We talked about the fire truck rides, everything yep. else in between. And I uh, love having the extra vendors this year, yes. too. You guys did a good job with that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we try to get the community involved. And this year, we really strove to get other people that we normally don't have here at our open house, and bring them in and help let them um, kind of display what they, they offer for the community and for what they do for us. Um, a lot of times we kind of forget about those people and it's not on purpose that we're forgetting them. Um, so we wanted to really make an effort this year to say, hey, let's bring you guys in. Let's make sure we're, we're all getting the, the um, notice or uh, press that we need. Well, and I think, you know, you've got the persona of fire department, you know, you might be specifically fire, but there, it, there's, it's a large gamut of things that you do cover. So, yep. and one of those areas, speaking of fire, <laughs> transitioning <laughs> there, uh, is cooking fires. Unfortunately, still seeing a lot of uh, uh, cooking related fires here in Fitchburg. And as we're getting into the holiday season, I was hoping you could give us just a few quick tips as we get ready for uh, yeah, the holiday absolutely. season. So yeah, in Fitchburg, we've, we encounter about 36 kitchen fires a year, which is fairly high. I mean, it's, it's probably one of our more significant fires that we have on a regular basis. 
Um, but some of the things to kind of think about as we're moving forward is that when we're cooking here coming up in the holiday season, we're gonna have lots of people over, all sorts of people crammed into the tight spaces of a kitchen. Make sure that those handles on the, on the, um, on the pots and pans are turned to the inside so that they're not getting bumped or tipped off. Make sure they're t turned in as well because otherwise little kids could be coming up and pulling down on them, and get th throwing all the hot stuff on themselves. Um, that's never good, a lot of burns. And actually, just real quick, Thanksgiving is the leading cause or leading day for uh, cooking fires, followed by Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Not surprised, and I bet you that jumped when we started with uh, deep frying turkeys. <laughs> yes. I have a feeling yes. that that, and we've talked about that in the past too, but uh, either way, you know, take the time, slow down, lots of safety tips out there. Yep. We've done a lot of videos in the past, you can check those out as well. Yep. And you're going to be back with us on Thanksgiving Day okay. to give us uh, safety tips. I'm really excited about yeah, this. Yeah, it'll so be fun. I appreciate it. All right, that is Adam Dorn. I want to thank Tim as well for being a part of uh, this segment. And uh, we'll take a quick break, wrap up the show next. It is Talking Fitchburg.